So in this video, we're going to be doing a third color, which is going to be magenta, my favorite color. And it's a new technique. So in the earlier video, we kept these beautiful uh, horizontal cutouts. And so we're gonna be placing those onto the design. So I'm gonna just kind of be a bit ad hoc because I want it to look a bit random. And I still want there to be some parts of the fabric shine through. So wherever the plastic is, the fabric will still shine through. And I think I still want a bit of that blue circle to stay blue. So wherever I don't put the plastic, uh, the magenta will dominate and become purple or orange. And then otherwise it will be magenta. So we're just gonna keep thickness of that one there that guy there and I'm kind of keeping them right justified but that's just the design that I've gone for in this very random creation that's coming along. My plastic uh, acetate is laid ready to go and so I've created a border with this screen um, using some, uh, some tape and so that's because I don't want I don't want the ink to go right to the edges because it will get um, bulky and bleed and kind of um, become messy. So, so it's very important to put uh, a border of some kind on the outside of your screen. There's a, you could tear the edges if you wanted it to be rough, but I want it to be nice and clean. So, uh, and then again, I flip the screen over roughly in the center of my design. Cool, so that's ready to go. And it's gonna be the same process as the last one. So I've got my magenta ink here ready to go. And I've put a lot of print paste in here because I use this bucket of ink a lot. But I'm actually just gonna put some more. Oops. Some printmakers are really quite tidy, but I'm not, I'm quite messy. That's why I like screen printing. All right, we'll give that a nice stir. I actually used this magenta print paste uh, directly onto the walls in my exhibition and it came up really beautiful because you can't, pop, you can't buy this color in acrylic paint. So I painted a pair of shoes with it recently. <laughs> I just think it's the most beautiful color. Maybe a little tiny bit more. So these tubs of ink are about $55, $60, but the print paste is only $25, so it's really good to extend your ink as much as you can with the print paste. I actually even don't mind sometimes popping a little print paste directly onto the screen. Just be playful. <laughs> All right, so just give that a little stir. And then I'm gonna do that same technique where I squeegee. Cool, so that has left the underneath sh shapes showing. There's still a little bit of that fabric in there. Again, it's really, really important to rinse your screen. I'm just gonna quickly put that back in to the pot. And yeah, it's created this quite um, beautiful 
mix of shapes and colours and the pink has become purple and uh, on the yellow it's become orange. I'll just give that a little spritz. And most important is give it a hair dry because then uh, that's when the colour really uh, seeps into the fabric. That's it for the colour. Looking pretty good so far. I'm really happy with how it's coming along. Um, and in the next video, we're going to do the final step of this print, which is putting the black text on top and that finishing it all off. Thank you for watching. You can find more videos from Territory Artists at channelnt.com.au.